who's ready for some more policy conversations. Uh, we are next going to hear from Los Angeles County Supervisor Hinda Solis. She, uh, Supervisor Solis was sworn in as the Los Angeles County Supervisor uh, for the first district of Los Angeles County in December of 2014. And she was reelected in 2018 for a new four-year term. As County Supervisor, Solis prioritizes combating homelessness and developing affordable housing for the historically marginalized communities she represents. In 2019, she authored a motion directing relevant county agencies to draft legislation ensuring that all publicly funded housing in LA County is pet friendly. Uh, so let's uh, hear from uh, Supervisor Solis. Hello, I'm Hilda L. Solis, Chair of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors and Supervisor to the First District. It's been a little over a year since LA County announced its first case of COVID-19 in our region. And since then, over 1.1 million cases and over 17,000 deaths have been reported. Amidst this dark reality, our pets have served as sources of unconditional love. Early in the pandemic, we saw reports of many flocking to animal shelters to adopt and foster animals. At some point, several animal shelters were completely empty because of the high demand. From dogs to cats to rabbits and even horses, having pets gives our lives purpose and meaning. And that is why in 2019, I authored a motion that directed the LA County Chief Executive Office's Homeless Initiative, Department of Animal Care and Control and Community Development Commission to draft an ordinance requiring all county funded housing to allow residents to have pets so that pets and families can stay together and to reduce shelter intake rates by removing housing barriers for low income and homeless pet owners. The National Coalition for Homeless estimates that 10% of individuals experiencing homelessness have pets. Other studies suggest the number is even higher. Many private landlords and temporary housing forbid people from having animals. Public animal care departments and animal welfare organizations have reported up to 20% of pet owners abandon their animals because they can't find rental housing that allows pets. In addition, many victims of domestic violence hesitate to apply for supportive or permanent housing after they realize that they must abandon a trusted pet. No one, absolutely no one, should have to make the difficult choice between abandoning a beloved pet or experiencing homelessness. If we want to combat homelessness, the human-animal bond is an important relationship we can't afford to ignore. Pets provide emotional stability and protection for those who lack that type of support, including our older adult community, veterans, and people with disabilities. Studies show that individuals with pets experience fewer symptoms of depression and loneliness. And to that end, I want to recognize the work of My Dog Is My Home is leading to increase access to shelter and housing for people experiencing homelessness along with their companion animals. Thank you for assisting organizations throughout the country to build their capacity to serve human animal families. We all benefit from the love, devotion, and companionship our pets display, and they benefit from ours. So hug your pet tonight, today, and let's commit to ensuring all have the opportunity to build a home. 